New tonight at 11, school masking mandates continue to be a hot topic. And as districts around the state debate whether or not to allow kids to go maskless, the region's biggest school district says it'll continue to enforce universal masking. Julia Hazel joins us now with more after attending an Erie School Board meeting tonight. Julia. Good evening, Jennifer. That's right. Now, students in Erie School District will have to continue to wear face masks, but some district officials for Erie Schools say that they're hoping that this will soon end. While school district officials around the state are making decisions of dropping the mask mandate or enforcing them, the Erie City School District is making no changes and is keeping the mask mandate. So at this point, the CDC does recommend universal masking in schools, so we're going to continue to do so, but uh, we'll continue to evaluate that on an ongoing basis and, and make recommendations to the school board. Governor Wolf lifted the statewide mask mandate, leaving the decision up to individual districts. Last month, Plato says the board the board met to reassess the health and safety plan for the students, but the outcome was the same. You see, the fact of it, they have to understand the mask isn't there to hurt anyone, it's there to help. While Erie school officials are continuing to enforce masks in schools, one of the board of directors says it's time for a change. My opinion is very different from Mrs. Cooley. I, um, I think at this point it's time to unmask the kids. They have been through enough. Director Sheridan says she thinks it's time to stop enforcing masks because of where the COVID numbers are at. And I think at this point, Erie is low enough now that we can start shedding the mask and our kids, we can finally see their faces because not only have they lost a lot of instructional time, but they've also lost how to get along with people. Superintendent Polito says they will continue to keep an eye on things and reassess when needed. Even though both directors have differing opinions, they both say that they hope they can see students come into the classroom without having to wear a face mask. Jennifer. All right, Julia, thank you.